Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, people of God. And you're welcome to another edition. And by the grace of God, the last edition for the year 2019. Because today is the 31st day of the month of December of the year 2019. Just in a flash, 2019 is gone. And you will agree with me that God has been awesome. God has been faithful. He has been kind. He has blessed us. He has been faithful to us. He has given us all kind of things that we desire. May his name be praised forever. And so I welcome you to this wonderful day. I know by this evening, many of us will be going to church for the crossover night service. But even before that, we have some few activities to do in the day. I pray for you. As we listen to the word of God this morning, the Lord will brighten your path. It will increase on every side. His blessing shall be there for you. Whatever you're trusting him for, in his might and his mercy, as we hear his word today, he will speak his word to our heart and he will guide us through the day. And I pray that sorrow that has not fallen upon us on this last day of 2019, it will not come our way in the mighty name of Jesus. So I welcome you to another edition of this Daily Fountain of the Church of Nigeria, the last edition for the year. Let's look at it together and see what the Lord has for us. Our topic today is, are you a thirst? And he said, come. And the text is John chapter 7, verse 37 to 39. John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. I read very quickly. On the last and most important day of the festival, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, he should come to me and drink. The one who believes in me, as the scripture has said, he will have streams of living water flow from deep within him. He said this about the Spirit. Those who believed in Jesus were going to receive the Spirit. For the Spirit had not yet been received, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brother, like I said, the topic is, are you a thirst? Are you thirsty? In a very simple word. You know, there are different kinds of thirst. There is physical thirst, where we are trying to get water, get drinks, Coca-Cola, Fanta, malt. Some get different kinds of drinks. Some even get beer to drink when they are thirsty. There is this mental psychological thirst too, you know. Mentally, you're just not strong enough. You kind of want something to fill you up, to help you, to give you strength for the day. And there is a spiritual thirst. And that is what Jesus is talking about today. You know, from what we read in that passage, Jesus is kind of giving invitation. He said, are you thirsty? Are you in need of, are you in need of anything spiritually that can burden you up, that can support you, that can lift you? And sincerely... That is the only message every one of us needs at the time. That invitation from the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's saying, look here. You can't get it any other place. Come and I will give you water. And this time now, Jesus is not just promising the water. He said, I'm going to give you that water that you're looking for. But at the same time, I'm going to create in you streams, stream of water. Which means from within you, something will be flowing every time. He said, you know, I'm not just going to give you the water and you go away and come back. No. If you accept me, if you're ready to get this water, come to me. I will create a stream of water that flows in you continually, deep from inside, inside of you. And that is what verse 38 told us. And from our daily guide, what does it have to tell us? He said, thirst is a feeling that is caused by desire or the need to drink, which happens every day that will go through on our daily life. Jesus said in verse 37 of our text, he said, on the last and most important day of the festival, Jesus stood up and cried out, if anyone, I want you to understand that word, anyone, possibly you want to note it, anyone, there's no limit to it. It's not a particular set of persons or a category set of people or some particular, or, you know, particular people or anything, no. It's an open invitation. You know, like the Bible say when during like the parable Jesus gave us that a, a rich man organized a wedding and all that. And he sent out his servant to invite people. The Bible said they invited the rich, the poor, the beggar, every kind of person that are available. 
The same invitation Jesus is giving us today. Are you thirsty? He said, anyone at all, any category, any stage, any kind of people can come to him and that is ready to give them. And he said, this statement of the Lord has a spiritual meaning. Like I said earlier, the mental thirstiness, the physical thirstiness, and the spiritual thirstiness that the Lord is giving us. He said, the statement of the Lord has a spiritual meaning. And this task is mentioned is purely of spiritual kind. As basic as that. And you know thing, one thing, brethren. Everything that happens to us physically has a spiritual connotation. Whatever that you face physically, believe me, brethren, it doesn't just happen to you. It has been determined in spiritual realm. And which tells us that for you to be able to take care, to take absolute control of your physical life, definitely you have to take care of your spiritual life. If your spiritual life is taken care of, definitely you have authority over everything that happens to you physically. And that is what the Lord is saying today. And it means anxiety of soul, convicted of sin, desiring pardon and longing for peace of mind. It's as simple as that. And that was one thing the Bible said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. It said, come to me, all you are weary and are burdened, and I will give you rest. You know, it's emphatic. It's clear. Anxiety of soul. People of God, we have anxiety. One thing or the other, taking us to places, taking us up and down from one place to the other. Because there's that anxiety, that anxiousness in us that we're trying to kill. And listen to me. Physical, physical matter cannot kill this. Physical anxiety, you can't take care of it if you don't take care of your spiritual anxiety. And he said, anxiety of soul, convicted of sin. We all carry this body, you know, the guiltiness, the weight of what we have done that is not good, the, 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 the weight of whatever wrong thing that we have done, we carry it every day. And you know, the only person that can take care of this, according to the word we read in Matthew, he said, Come to me, all you labor and are ever laden. And Jesus is ready to give you that rest, which does not come physically. It's spiritual. And this spiritual thing can only be taken care of as, by only accepting the invitation that the Lord has given us. And he continued. If you read Philippians, something as he told us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, he said, And the peace of God which surpasses every thought will guide your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. You see, it's a very clear thing. And the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, which passes all human thought, which passes all human reasoning. You can't get it. The Bible said, it said, in the world you have tribulation. You will have trouble, torment, challenge, difficulty. But in me, it said, be of good courage, be of good share. I have overcome the world. On this last day of the year 2019, we're going into 2020 from tomorrow, people of God. One thing you must take into consideration is accepting the invitation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe the expectation, maybe your anxiety were not taken care of. Maybe your desires were not granted. Maybe the so-called things you worked for from January 365 days down to today, you are unable to get it. But one thing you must do as you're stepping into 2020 from tomorrow, January 1st, 2020, is accepting this invitation because nothing is possible without God. But when you accept God, then everything is possible. Everything. But without him, you will have difficulties. Without him, you will have challenges that you won't be able to overcome. So accepting his invitation, like the topic said, are you a thirst? Are you thirsty? He's giving you that open invitation. He said, come to me and I'm going to give you that which you required for. Listen to what Romans chapter 7 verse 24 says. He said, oh wretched man that I have, who shall deliver me from this body of death? It's a question Paul was asking. Oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, people of God, listen to me. I have a word for you from the Lord. 2019 may not be the best of the year for you, but I can guarantee you if you accept Jesus into your life, 2020 is going to be a best year for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't look at it as if people might have said one thing or the other about you. Don't worry about that. That is the nature of people. People are good at gossiping. They're good at disappointing. They're good at talking evil about you, talking evil about you. But if your confidence is sure in God, if your confidence is certain in God, if you put your trust in him and accept the invitation he's given you today, believe me, 2020 will be the best year you're going to imagine. Oh, it's going to be a best experience for you. But listen, you have a part to play. And the part you have to play is accepting his invitation. He said, 
come to me. When you accept that invitation, it is certain for you that things are going to work around for you. I speak it to you today. 2020 will work out good for you. 2020 will be blessing for you. 2020 will be a year of great favor for you. A year of double favor, double grace, double blessing, double increase. The Lord will take his time to expand you on every side. As you stand with you 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. But the part you have to play is accept his invitation. Oh, this is a very good topic as we're in 2019, brethren. Are you thirsty? I'm sure we are thirsty. Oh, I am thirsty. You are thirsty. And we can't stop of being thirsty because thirstiness come every day. You know, physically, you want to drink. You're thirsty today because of sun and weather. Tomorrow, you're there. Next tomorrow, you are there. And every day it comes. But you taking the invitation of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's, it helps you. It supports you. It increases you. You know, it's, God is just there for you to take care of your, of your situation. All you need to do is accept him. Take him into your life and it will take care of every situation. You know, insecurity is just there. Uncertainty, anxiety about oneself, lack of confidence, situation beyond you that you cannot control. Take the invitation of God today and definitely all is going to work together for your good. And the next paragraph of the Daily Fountain is saying, The Lord is making an open invitation to you if you are not known or receive him into your life. Salvation is free and open to all. Only believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Isaiah gave us that. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Very clear. He said, Come, let us discuss together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they will be as white as snow. Though as, they are as red as crimson, they will be like wool. It's an open invitation. And it continues in Revelation. Revelation is clear. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. Quickly, let me read. It's about the spirit and the bride say, Come, anyone who hears you say, Come, and the one who is thirsty should come. Whoever desires should take the living water as a gift. So, people of God, as this year closes, let it ring in you that God is giving you a very big invitation today. Let him take care of your life. Let him lead your life. Just say, Lord, help me. I accept you. And definitely, it shall be well with you. So, as we close today, the prayer, I say, Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me. And making me to drink from your fountain. Amen. So people of God, as we go out today, by this evening we'll be going for the service, crossover, night, crossover service. Have that confidence in you. Have that confidence that 2020 will be a great year. And I speak to you, 2020 shall be great for you. It shall be well with you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord keep the light of his countenance to shine upon you. The Lord will be gracious upon you. May he be there for you every day of your life. From January 1 to the end of 2020, you will have no reason to regret. Every voice of sorrow concerning you, the Lord shall silence them. Every difficulty concerning you, the Lord shall take them away. Every stagnancy holding you down, the Lord will break you free. Whatever chain or chakra that is holding you down, the Lord shall set you free. Oh, you will operate on a higher realm. The Lord will take you to the next level of your life. The Lord will catapult you to the next stage of your life. That stage you're trusting the Lord for, that goodness you're trusting the Lord for, they will come to you in 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I pray for you. The problem you are ending 2019 with, as you're crossing into 2020, you will not cross over to 2020 with those situations. Oh, the Lord will get treat of those situations and you will enter 2020 and you will take you to fly on the eagle's wings in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. I wish you a happy new year in advance and by the grace of God I will see you 2020 and we will rejoice and praise the Lord together. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the best of today. Prepare for a greater things to come to your life and surely God is taking you higher. Thank you for, for listening. God bless you and have a glorious day. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.